Hey guys, I am back, um, and I am back with a review on A Beautiful Dark by Justine Davis. I just finished this on um, Monday, and I have had my, I do have my review on it on my blog. I just posted it up uh, yesterday, and I have to say I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, before I start, I want to um, let you guys know that I've been wanting to do a video review for quite a while, but I just had, a th I wasn't sure if I wanted to do one, because, um, after I had my blog up, I wasn't sure if I wanted to, uh, start them up again, because it's been so long since I've done one, but I think it would be more fair to be able to do one for you guys, so, especially when you request it for me to do one, and I just think it's time to do one, start over again, and, um, and I thought this would be a perfect book to st um, start with, with it. So, and so yeah, um, *A Beautiful Dark* by Josephine Davis is a really good book. I love, love this book, and I cannot wait, cannot wait, um, for the second one to come out. But anyways, before I get into more about that, <laughs> let's get into the plot about um, *A Beautiful Dark*. The storyline starts off with a young girl named Skye, and she is celebrating her 17th birthday against her wishes. <laughs> um, her parents died 11 years ago on her 6th birthday, and she just has not really been into the mood of celebrating birthdays like she used to when she was younger. But um, after her friends go against her wishes and celebrate it, she's just gotten used to it after birthday after birthday and after birthday. So, um, <laughs> uh, she just knows that it will just come eventually, so that's why she just gives up. <laughs> and sh what she doesn't know is that this birthday is going to be different, and it's going to change, um, her life completely. And on the night of her 17th birthday, she meets two boys, Aster and Devlin, and they're two boys who are opposites, complete opposites. Um, like fire and ice, uh, Aster is wild and a player and a jokester, while Devlin is um, kind and mysterious and aloof and um, also a <laughs> very businesslike. And um, when someone mentioned that he was very businesslike, at first I wasn't really sure what they meant, but now that I actually read it, now I know why he is like that. And I really don't want to get into too much detail of that, because it will kind of spoil a little bit of um, some things in it that I don't want to mention. <laughs> but um, it would be too spoiler, and I don't want to do that. I hate spoiling things for you guys, especially in reviews. But anyways... Um, she's tries to, she's trying to figure out what they want and what they want with her because for some reason they're there for a purpose and their purpose is focusing on Sky and she does not know why because they always follow her around and always like one step behind her and they appear in mysterious uh, times throughout the book. So, when she finds out the truth of what she is, and, uh, I mean, not what she is, what they want with her, and the reason why, and she also finds some secrets about her true self that she did not know about, and her heritage behind, um, her powers that she learns about and stuff. And I really like that. And if all, the angel mythology that was taken into the story, which w which was very interesting, and I really like that. So, um, and I loved how Aster and Devlin were both there for her through these troubling times of her trying to handle her power that she still doesn't understand and how to control. And I also liked, um, how she is torn between both of them, and she's not sure who, which one the trust and which one she wants to be with, 
because she's torn between her heart being for both of them, Devlin and Aster. While she's fallen for Aster, she can't stay away from Devlin. And it's really hard for her, <laughs> for these feelings that she's growing. But her choices will lead to some consequences of things that if she does not choose between the two um, angel armies that she has to choose from, and Devlin and Aster's armies, um, and also some other things um, that's trouble in her and her past and everything will be up to her to choose her destiny and her heart. She will have to choose not only for her heart, but also for her destiny, for the future of um, the angel world that she is now kind of into, kind of stuck into. And her, her whole world that she used to know and used to grow up with and thought she knew is now changed in a big, big way. And that's what I really loved about A Beautiful Dark. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the second book, A Fragic Light, which comes out in September, uh, I believe, 27th or 28th, I believe. And I will show you guys the cover on my Kindle. So I do have it right here. So you guys can see what it looks like. It's so pretty. So let me get it on. There we go. I, oop, it's too bright. Hold on, guys. I don't want to blind you with the light. So there we go. In that cover, just gorgeous, whoop, gorgeous, <laughs> sorry, gorgeous, I mean, I love how it has, like, the, um, the mist, like, whipping around her, the dark mist, and I love how, um, the background is with the mountains and then a lake, it's so gorgeous, and I'm so looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in that one because the ending in A Beautiful Dark was so crazy. I did not see that coming. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in that one. So A Beautiful Dark, I give 5 out of 5 stars. Amazing plot, storyline, characters. I love the characters. I love every single one of them. I loved her friends. They were so funny. I love the two boys that she meets. I love Skye. I also like um, her... Uh, um, her garden that she stays with, which is her mother's um, a friend, kind of old childhood friend that she stays with, and I forgot what her name is, so um, I would mention what her name is, but I totally forgot, but um, I love, love, love this book, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next, so five stars, excellent plot, angel mythology was amazing, and I can't wait to read more angel books this and so excited. <laughs> so that is a beautiful dark. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and look forward for more to come in the future. And I hope that um, this will not be my last one and it will be more, a lot more, like I said, to come. And I can't wait to do more reviews <laughs> on YouTube like I used to because I had so much fun doing it. And I'm so sorry that I, it took me so long to be able to start up again. But um, now that I'm here, I promise you guys that I will start in the um, motion of doing them again. But anyways, I will see you guys later tomorrow with AIM. And it will be kind of a birthday one. Because my birthday is tomorrow, so I'm going to celebrate you a special I am tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to, to do for you guys. So if you have any questions or any comments that you want to uh, leave, just leave them in the comments below. And if you guys are new, leave um, a subscribe above. And yeah, and if also if you are new, also check out my blog, um, which I will leave in the linky thing below. Or on my ch and it is also on my channel if you guys want to go there and check it out too there. But anyways, I will see you guys later, and happy reading. Bye.